Hi, this is Mr. Petito from WAMS Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to change your passcode on your iPad. It's a fairly straightforward process. Let's get started. First thing you'll need to do is open up the Settings app on your iPad, and then from here in the left-hand menu, scroll down from General to Passcode, and then the option to turn your passcode on. By default, it'll give you four digits to choose from for your passcode, but if you want something different, go ahead and click on Passcode Options. And then from here, you'll have the ability to change it from four digits to six digits, a custom numeric code, which I believe is anywhere between four and 10, or a custom alphanumeric code, which means you can use letters as well. It'll bring up a full keyboard, and you can go ahead and type in whatever password you want. To be honest, I feel that four digits is pretty sufficient, and it's the fastest way to unlock your iPad, uh, which is something you'll be doing quite often when you're using your iPad. So I'll stick to four digits. Don't pick something easy or obvious, like 1234 or 1111 or something like that. Um, it's better to use something memorable, like maybe the last four of a phone number that you know of, um, part of an address, part of an ID number, maybe the last four of your social security number. Okay. If you do pick something easy, like 1234, it'll even warn you saying that this password or this passcode is commonly used. Pick something different. All right. For today's purposes, I'm just going to use the same code anyway. And then I'll do one, two, three, four again to verify. And that's it. You now have a passcode. Okay. You can set the length of when the passcode is required. Right now I have it set to five minutes, which means if my screen turns off, as long as I turn my screen back on within five minutes, I won't need to retype the passcode in order to get into my iPad. If you're very secure minded, you can always change that to maybe immediately or one minute, or if your iPad stays at home, let's say, and it never leaves the house and it's only you there, right? You can set it to one hour or four hours or something like that. All right, the last thing here is to select what you can access when your iPad is locked. Right now I have set to everything, which means if my iPad is locked, like so, I can still have access to my notifications. I still have access to my control center. I still have access to my widgets, okay? And even access to the camera from the lock screen. If I want to turn those features off, all I have to do is go back into passcode here, type in my passcode to verify, and I can toggle those options off. If you need to change your passcode, just select pass, change passcode. You'll enter in your old passcode and then type in your new passcode and then verify. If it asks you to change your iCloud security code, um, I recommend just using the same code. That way it's only one code to memorize. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Talk to you soon.